Hello, Joey Chestnut fans. I'm Kevin Ripa, and this is My Sans 3 Minutes Max. In this episode, I want to talk about a popular misconception that I see within the forensics community uh, and indeed complaints I hear. Wow, this stuff is hard to look at. Why does this evidence have to be so hard to parse through? And who builds these tables and these databases and the registry? It's ridiculous trying to figure this out. Why do they have to make it so hard? I got news for you. They aren't making it hard for you. The artifacts that you're using to determine what's happened on a computer were not made for your forensicating pleasure. They were created to enhance the user experience. They were created to help the operating system do something good or, or otherwise for the user, not for your forensicating pleasure. A great example is the EMD management key. We'll see it here. This is buried way deep in the software hive of the registry. Microsoft, Windows NT, current version, EMD management. We see here it's empty. Why? Because I'm using a solid state hard drive. That makes no sense. What do we get in EMD management? The volume serial number of attached media. Somebody plugs in a thumb drive. That's where I would get my volume serial number. This is crucial to me, but why is it empty? It's empty because I'm using a solid state hard drive. What's that got to do with USB? Nothing. It's got to do with Windows trying to boot your computer faster, but on a solid state hard drive, it can't make it any faster. It doesn't use ReadyBoot. If it doesn't use ReadyBoost, it's not going to have EMD management populated. What does that have to do with forensics? Nothing. It's just that when this is populated, it's useful to us. Things like prefetch. We look at, at a prefetch folder and it's useless to us. How do we do anything with this? We can't. Here's, here's Snagit. How do, how do I even open that? I don't know. Let's use uh, Notepad++. That's useless to me. Yeah, we, it's not there for your forensicating pleasure. It is there so Windows knows what to do with it. Let's look at another very popular one, Shell Bags. Shell Bags is ridiculously good for us, forensically speaking. But it's buried so deep in its own hive, in the user class .dat hive, that trying to get to anything in it is ridiculous. Local settings, software, Microsoft, Windows, Shell, Bag MRU. Look how deep this goes. How do I make sense of that? Yeah, it doesn't make sense. But this tells me who accessed what, when, from where. Look at that. I go to zero. Why all the crazy numbers? In zero, I get to see what drive I'm looking for. When I scroll down here, look, C drive. Root of C is node slot one. Let's go find node slot one. I'm at the root of C now. Let's drill down and see what I can find here in my C drive. Oh, there's the user fold, the users folder. Uh, 11, so I gotta find 11 and I gotta go in there and then I can find my, my username for the user that's using the computer. LW is the user on this computer. That's in slot zero. Let's go to slots. No, it's not easy. Windows is not making it easier for easy for you because these artifacts and every other artifact that you're using in forensics was not made for your forensicating pleasure. So don't complain that Microsoft is making your job hard. They're not making your job anything because they're not doing what they do for you. It's up to you to understand this and get good at it. Get better at it. Get awesome at it and be the best lethal forensicator you can be. In the meantime and in between time, that's it. Another episode of 3 Minutes Max.